Today we are going to be talking about a relatively often problem, maybe. Patrick's Garage. How we can continue repairing body if it was restored not correctly before? How we can put hood molding if the hood was damaged? We need make out something. Moldings are needed to protect the paint surface of the car from the accidental touching. Here should be molding at the edge of the hood. I think as decorative function. This case just a stylistic that doesn't serve any purpose. Here hood was damaged when I opened the hood and jack up the car. But not big deal, we don't care about that. Now here you see hood was repaired a lot of time after wrecks. Before me car was in wrecks a lot of time, but good repair was done. Uh, yes, not a line so good, but we need to try install molding here under the edge of the hood. I plan to adapt molding for this hood, maybe a little bend it to best match. Yes, hood not uh, restored perfect, but now it's good enough. With windshield molding all more complicated, all parts differs. You know, we're not competing with factory pattern, but it looks more tidy when every molding in its place. Hood not match factory made. Hood was restored by previous owner. Molding made from aluminum. Rust from old clips. We'll need equilibrate differs. Maybe bent molding to match the hood. So it fits more snug. I think about using fixation screws. Old parts of windshield molding differs. Not so easy to install. You see, clearly see all damage on the hood. Inside of hood is memory of old racks. You know, thick paint, very brittle. So, will be better to adapt uh, molding for this not perfect hood. Old thick filler hard, but easy breakable. Yes, maybe you think it looks horrible. But it uh, a lot of time invisible, one hood closed. Side uh, door moldings and fender moldings protect your car when you go to the store. Side moldings and bumpers protect your car when you go to the grocery store. I spent a lot of time to find the best match molding for side for doors. Now we need to find moldings from this pile of crap. Here you see windshield moldings and side moldings. Use plastic clips for side moldings, do not sway moldings. Windshield moldings all differs. Upper moldings, lower moldings, corner moldings. Upper and lower corner moldings differs. You see in the picture. Take a notice that uh, left pillar and right pillar trims differs, and corner uh, lower differs from upper. This is not chromed plastic, this is even not steel with chromed surface, this is stainless steel. This is very reliable trims, and they can last forever. But we need to spend time to figure it out where should be each part of them. For me, I think the most important thing is to actually try to figure out where these all parts should be. For easily attaching, we can use these tools. Easy drilling one hole in two parts at one time. Now measure with this simple punch, hit with homo. Do not forget where we need to make hole. And here again, you're not going to drilling where it not need. So now we're drilling where a hole where it should be. 
As to don't attempt drilling without previous making mark, unless you're willing scratching the plate. Battery was completely charged. Yes, we can use original clips, but hood was damaged, and I would stay away from that idea. And hood maybe not fall apart so fast. Check closely again tightening of drill. We can't blame the drill that it slides. A little bit paint coming up there. Drill runs awfully. Weak old battery maybe. Battery impacts holes quality. Want to say that wireless drill very convenient for walk with car. The same drills are really quite a bit better. Now hole ready, you see, could not fall, and now saw what's left. So you see I bought Phillips screws and these nuts to prevent unscrewing them. But you can use whatever you want. Hood not hitch in the head. Hood without struts that can break. Very good hood, but restored. So crappy. Now it's done right. And maybe mm, dirt and sneaky little rust can get uh, between the edge of hood and this molding. I think we can use oil based inhibitor. And now it's scary to remember what the hood look was before. I'm really pleasantly surprised that it was so easy. Well done, I think. And now we see it turned out quite normal. Paint faded, I don't know for what it was painted, and I think will be better to replace it. Now license plate light looks no good, so I think will be better to replace it. Old lamps uh, works perfectly. Little rust, of course, not a big deal, we don't care about that. We install it into a new holder. Looks good enough, I think. Be absolutely fanatic clean this rust. But more important here, ground contact. Always check these screws. This license plate light holder looks more better. Now I'm assuming it's going to light so better. Now we need a lighter connectors check. So for this we open this central console. Let's look what under this stupidest console. Earlier models was without this central console. Was just lit for fuses. Now we need to look at the sketch of wires. One of the blue wires goes to the lighter. Can Andrew for me why Volvo decided to put central console with watches and switchers? Was completely enough lead for fuses. Maybe just because auto manufacturers repeat each another. Here should be just fuses lead. This was crappy solution whatsoever. Now in this particular one things was rewired. Strangely enough, small clamp. Lighter original wire, little burn in two places. But you know, wire skin should be perfect condition. Maybe we can replace it with something for time of searching new wire. Somebody have cut wires, we one of them without ground wire. Somebody spliced wires in. We see one clamp more thicker. We make one from Two. We really don't know what some guy has done with this thing. So let's check. Fun works. Now check charging system for my cell phone. We can use it. And we don't scare use this. Lot of outlets in modern cars. So where is the bulb for gloves box? Uh, we need to install it. Where is the bulb? But it was. Lamp socket with six legs. Original number. 
So now let's check new bulb. Like in a refrigerator, we open gloves box, light go on. We close gloves box, light goes out. 